I remember going into the gym on this day thinking this is the craziest stuff that I'm ever going to do. And I didn't think I would make it through this set of 225 being fasted, no food in my belly. Uh, but um, I was surprising myself all day today on this very day. Fast forward, seven months later, I'm in the gym thinking, I'm about to kill these squat sets. This is going to be awesome. I'm training fasted again. I know I'm getting ready to crush these weights because I'm full of glycogen from, from the carb load that I did the night before. I'm not worried about a thing. All I want to do is hit these squats with um, good form and with lots of power and speed. So today, uh, I worked up to 315 for a single and then 265 for a four by three. And everything was just, I mean, today I, I was on fire today. I just felt like I couldn't be stopped. Uh, the barbell was fitting real nice on my back. I was tucking into it really well. Just everything felt light all over, all over the place today. I even stepped outside of my training protocols for the bench and finally put 225 on for a single and, um, and smoked that. Now, the reason why I really felt great about today's training is that I took virtually no rest throughout the whole thing and, and hardly put, dropped a drop of sweat. And that's because my heart has become stronger. Without all of the flesh that my heart used to have to pump blood through, my heart does not beat as many times every minute. It actually beats 35 heartbeats less every minute. That's simply because there's less of me for the heart to pump blood through, less fat tissue, and every time my heart contracts, I'm pumping out much more blood for each time the heart contracts. How do I know that? Well, you'll have to watch the video I have coming up about my stress test, and I'll explain it there, but I have to really work on that video because it's going to be a pretty big editing job um, because there's a lot of info there. So stay tuned, but trust me when I tell you that powerlifting, sprinting, the dietary protocols, they're, they're freaking magic. Freaking magic. And one thing I will tell you uh, is that when I took my stress test for the second time, I didn't have any premature ventricular contractions, meaning my heart wasn't sputtering. I had none of them. Seven months ago when I took that stress test, I had 13 uh, premature ventricular contractions. A, the, which are not medically significant, but you don't want them. You don't want your heart to be sputtering and, and beating off beat. I don't have those anymore now because I gave up vaping. So I don't have any poisons running through my blood like nicotine. And my heart is just a stronger muscle now. But again, that'll be part of the... Uh, uh, stress test video. So here, um, I'm going to pay tribute again to the uh, to the to the squat shoes I bought. They keep my heel planted. They do not allow it to come off the ground, which is absolutely incredible. It keeps the barbell moving uh, straight up and down. Very little forward and back movement, which is what I need. Uh, in my life as a squatter. So my squats are, are much more efficient. And um, God, what else can I say? You know, the unracks just felt awesome today. Upper back tightness felt superb. Still lots of work to do though. 
I'm not there. I'm not sitting back and resting on my heels. Um, but everything felt good today. And uh, I needed to do these squats beltless. The top set, I'll put the belt on. But these um, working sets and the working sets that I have coming up, I'm going to be doing them all beltless so I can make sure that my abdominals uh, and obliques, my all well, obliques are part of the abdominals, but all the abdominals, the obliques, I want them strong as iron so um, I can squat even bigger numbers and be even more confident when, when the meet day comes. But the depth today was feeling really, really good. I'm almost pausing every single rep, and that almost, uh, I'm, I'm thinking that's really why my squat uh, was feeling so awesome today was that having to slow down the squat because I'm not wearing knee wraps but I'm wearing knee sleeves, so I don't get um, hardly any rebound out of the bottom of the squat. That forces me to to really put my squat in focus and make sure all the pieces are moving well. All right, so here we go on to the deadlift. Again, yep, I weigh 340 pounds here, and this is 380 pounds for, for three. And I remember talking with you, Coach, about um, about these um, about these particular reps and about deadlifting in general. Uh, my leverages were off, but now my leverages are are smooth as ice, and I'm just getting stronger. So today was an awesome deadlift day. I took zero zero breaks just long enough to put more weight on the barbell and just ripped right through these no problem and uh i took my 430 pound deadlift today beltless no break no rest just go right up in there and go ahead and pull it yep no worries no fear just get up in there and pull the damn thing that's right Probably would have been faster had I timed the lift, had I timed my ass rising and the weights rising a little bit better. But, um, very happy with that. Still got to work on, on the timing. Uh, everything today, beltless, as you can see. Just uh, really enjoying some deadlifting today. And saving the best for last, which is the bench press which today was just uh, uh, something happened today that in the bench press I was just so damn happy about that I'm clicking my heels. Might be time for me to uh, really do a good test for the bench. I'm not sure what you want to do about that, Coach, but um, probably going to finish. You'll probably have me finish out this five-week program, and I have absolutely no problem with that. But uh, strength is coming back. It's coming back, flooding back. Well, I'll leave you to your thoughts from here on out, Coach. You know, wait until for the bench press before I chime in again. All right, so here, I'm not sure what I had on the barbell here. Um, something a little bit under, I think it's, I think this is 200 pounds. Not quite sure, but again, um, seven months ago, just a ton of weight around that belly. You know the weight's moving well. I'm glad to be able to be doing this. Uh, to be, you know, performing the squat, bench, and deadlift at a body weight of 240 instead of 340. This feels really, really good. So 
still working on that foot position. I got it together a little bit better than, than I have before today. My back was arching very, very nice. I think the, uh, the two to three days off from lifting that I had really, really helped my back feel nice and fresh. And, um, and today I just went uh, empty bar, 135 pounds as we have here, up to 225. I know I was supposed to do 200 today, but today I, it was just one of those days where, where everything just felt just full of gasoline and, and nuclear power, baby. So I said, okay, let me hit this 225 beltless, no wraps on my wrist, uh, no lift off, just keep my buddy uh, Richard right there. So in case something, uh, in case some fluke happened and I dropped the barbell on my neck or something exploded, uh, he'd be there to, to bail me out. But that was uh, absolutely no rest anywhere. Yep, drinking that snake juice. All right. And uh, 170 for four sets of three. These came off super lovely. And right here, I'm just going to not do any editing at all to show you what, uh, show you that I'm not really taking any break at all in between sets just to roll up uh, forward on the bench and go right back in and set up myself, set myself up again for another set. All right, guys. Um, thanks for watching, Coach. Thanks for the awesome program. Can't wait uh, to, to start the next program after this so we can be ready for the platform. I hope you're recovering well, and I will talk to you guys later on. Bye.